All right, fans adore Reese Witherspoon for all of her iconic award-winning roles across TV and film, and now she's adding a new children's book to her collection. It's called Busy Betty and the Circus Surprise. Oh, it's so cute. Of course, we love any reason mm -hmm. to catch up with one of the coolest and hardest working yes, women <laughs> in Hollywood, the busiest. I mm -hmm. said you guys are the busiest. No, we no. said you're the busiest, we, we Betty. Really do. We do. We feel like, do you have your day scheduled? Let's talk about that for a second. And how much, uh, how much free time do you allow yourself or afford yourself in any given day? Look, I a lot because I do think it's important to take care of yourself. So I exercise every day. Okay, at that least. doesn't count. Okay, that doesn't count. Okay. <laughs> That's um, workout. Hold on, That's my thing part. I've been doing lately what? is I do paint by numbers every single day. Paint, paint by, by numbers, like Bob Ross style. Oh, it's much more simple than that. <laughs> I literally, it's almost like doing a jigsaw puddle, puzzle and I do it for 30 minutes every day and it's so relaxing. So wait, what does that give you? Like, is wow. your mind? You can't do anything else while you're um, doing you this paint. So you just focus and you calm your nervous system and it's been really fun. It's meditative. And now I have like all these 50, paintings. 60 paintings. <laughs> oh. What are you gonna do with all I don't them? know. You need to start a Reese with their own gallery. I know, well, they're all of flowers, so I don't I don't know. Oh, sweet. <laughs> That's so much I know. fun. The other thing you do, which is sort of accidental as my mm -hmm. guess, is that you become kind of an online motivator. Yeah. Ooh. Do you have know I, that? You You're pump, like the you Mel Robbins. Yeah. Oh um, my gosh. I know we guys, love Mel Robbins. I saw Mel Robbins no, in the not. hotel lobby. And, and I was like, I saw your note in Jenny. <laughs> She's the best. I love her so much. No, that means so much to me because I do think when I, you know, I, I'm people grew up watching me in mm -hmm. movies and TV shows yeah. and a lot of people call me and ask me for advice. So I just started sharing a little bit of it on Instagram. Like when people call me, I go, okay, oh, I'm just going to put this advice uh, and maybe it's good advice. Maybe it's not. I no, I think it's good. Okay. Let's talk about one of the pieces of advice. Yeah, okay. You good. said edit your relationships. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And this is what your grandmother used to say is a radiator or a drain. Wow. What she is, was, was she yeah, tough, ahead of her grandmother? time? Yeah, no, she was just very discerning. Yeah. Like, she didn't spend time with people who dragged her, her feel down, bad. Yeah. right? Yeah. So right. we all know people who drain your energy, make you feel bad, or subtly cutting you down yeah. all the time. You got to cut those people out. Yes. Because your life is really, I mean, your time is precious. As moms, y'all know that. It's just you got to really save your energy for people who lift you up. Yeah. And it's funny because I think sometimes those relationships come, come because you've known them for so long and they've just been with you for so long. And the idea of saying, oh, well, that's enough of that just seems foreign because you got you become used to it. Yeah. You can't really just cut out, uh, you know, someone who's been with you on the long haul, can you? No, I don't think so. But you can say, hey, you hey, know what? what? This conversation has gotten a little bit negative. Yeah. yeah. And I, I really don't like want it. to talk badly about other you people. You know what we yeah. were just talking about that we want your advice on? Oh is boy. Raising. <laughs> well, we right. okay. So we feel like we could be raising people pleasers yeah. and our girls uh, yeah. because we're always like, make sure you're polite. Mm -hmm. You know, be respectful. And I think our concern with that is people pleasers can become victims, victims mm -hmm. of bullying or of aggressive boys or, you know, all those kinds of, because you want a, a kid who's respectful, but you want someone who's comfortable stating their own opinions. Yeah, I think there's something that's really important about kindergarten and preschool age kids that you don't realize they're learning how to pick friends. Yeah. So as they're coming home and telling you, so-and-so made me feel like this or so-and-so made me feel like that, yeah. really listen. Yeah. And I think it's okay to say to them at that point, that doesn't sound like a good friend choice for you. Maybe we shouldn't play with Susie or Bob. Uh, yeah. And I think you're giving them the right to say no. Yeah. Yes. To like, I don't want to play house right now. Yeah. I don't want to play school or that's not a game I want to play. Can we find something else to play? Or I don't really want to play right now. And that's because my daughter went with a little boy to get ice cream and he ordered strawberry and she doesn't like strawberry. And then she ordered strawberry. And I was like, she was, no, I, I like strawberry. I was like, you're, she, first of all, she's little, she's six. Mm -hmm. But I was so surprised. And I said to her later, honey, you can order what you like. Yeah. yeah. What he likes. Yeah. But that's well, happening. I think also don't worry too much. Yeah. They're trying to assimilate. Yeah. They're trying yeah. to fit in. Yeah. And yeah. they will grow out of it. They do. Okay. They become individuals by the things that you tell them every day. And the fact that you're even thinking about it means you're a really good mom. Um, Thank you. Reese, you're a therapist. Let's, yeah, let's talk about where you are in your life right now. You're kind of at a new chapter. Yeah. You are opening brand new doors. Yeah. At this stage in your life, describe how you're feeling and how you're navigating. 
You know, I'm really proud of the life decisions that I've made and with that I've made with kindness and grace mm -hmm. and and you know, all you can do in this world is like go through things. Everybody goes through ups and downs, yeah. but it's how you deal with them. Do you deal with them with grace and kindness mm -hmm. or, you know, nastiness? Yeah. yeah. I think there's only one way to be in life, you know, kind yeah. and throw love at things and really try to understand everybody's point of view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I also always think of everybody who I'm having a conversation with as like, who are they like when they were five years old? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's such a good. Is that who I'm yeah. talking to right now? Mm -hmm. Like the five-year-old you or the five-year-old yeah. you? Totally. Yeah. By the way, would be very cute. <laughs> it would be real. That, that would, would be a fun interview. Oh, wait, let's do it. That would be such what? a cute kids book. What is it? What are <gasps> talking to? I think we just. Why don't we all collab together? We've all oh had a children's <laughs> book. Yes. Hold on. Maybe Busy Betty this can have a talk show in her backyard oh my yes. God, with her best friend, yes. Jenna, and Ho. Yes. yes! Yes! Let's do it, because also you, well, yeah, you know what a morning yes. show is like. This is perfect. This is I mean, all happening. Okay, wait, we have to talk about Busy so, so Betty. So yes, we do. Uh, first of all, can I just tell you that Busy Betty is my, surprisingly, my son Hal's favorite yeah. book. Only surprising, because boys are into Busy, too. Yes. I love that. Right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. now Busy has created this whole circus. <laughs> Busy made a little, we're not going to give anything away, yeah. right? Because we don't want to spoil it for the kids Spoiler out there. Alert. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> but, okay, Busy made a mistake. Yeah. Yes. And she bumps his back. Yeah. Yes. Well, the whole concept is that Busy Betty has a business in her backyard mm -hmm. in every single book. <laughs> and this was how I was when I was a little girl. Yeah. I would be there selling barrettes or selling lemonade or selling brownies or going, to, by the way, I was really into selling Girl Scout cookies, <laughs> as you can Did imagine. Did you get a lot of patches? Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, you were the queen. I was the top seller for Troop 107. <laughs> Oh, you were. Oh, and yes, you were also you were. a ballerina. I was. Well, kind of. sort of. Yeah, I you were an entertainer. I wore the, the costume really well. <laughs> I cut my own bangs, guys. Oh, my God. That's you very were busy. So cute. You but I cute. do think it's important yeah. that kids learn from failure. Yeah. So my whole point was I wanted in every book, she messes up so badly yeah. she thinks it's yeah. all over. And so she has to pull herself together dry her tears and figure out how to make it work. Solution. Yeah. There's re res um, resilience and so important that kids know like you don't have to be perfect. Totally. You can be good enough. By but the you know way, what? That I want to tell you something yes. about your book. Your book came with glasses. It did. One of my daughters wears glasses. Haley, Hope wears her busy Aww. Betty glasses oh because gosh. she so badly wants to have glasses like, like her, her sister. Sissy. So she's like, where are mine? Those purple, round, cute as oh. can be glasses. I mean, I wore the biggest glasses when I was yes. her age. Yeah. I saw your sweet yeah. daughter in the yeah. glasses. I wanted to normalize that for yeah. kids too and make it kind of yeah. cool. It's cool. I also used to go around and tell everybody that my glasses were magic and I could see into the future. <laughs> you said that? You were like, and I'm going to be a famous movie yeah. star. <laughs> Just your wait. Uh, <laughs> I was determined. Actually, they asked me in second grade what I was going to be. I was like, I'm going to be the first female president of the United States of America. Well, it's not too late, Reese. Girl. Well, yeah, it is. No, it is not. It's not too late. It's not too late, but mm, I've thought a lot about it. Maybe you could give me some tips. Yeah, I think Jenna can. Don't go anywhere. I think it might anywhere. be a little harder than it looks. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Reese is going to stick around. She's going to help us settle some viral debates. Mm, oh, am I? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are back with Reese Witherspoon, and we know she'd be the perfect person to help us settle some viral hot button food debates. It's a new game we're calling Reese Witherspoon with, with her four. Right. Right. We found these incredible pictures of you holding my giant actual food. Spoon. Actual four. Yeah. yeah that, wow. Okay, here's how it's gonna work, Reese. I'm really we've never you've never done something so actually <laughs> stimulating. Under these domes are classic foods that some people use forks to eat. Well, others use spoons. <laughs> We're going to reveal them one by one, and then, and Reese, we need you to give a definitive answer. Okay. 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 So okay. here is the first food. You're going to tell us, is it a spoon or a fork? Wow. Mac and now, listen, we know you're from the South. We know that this could be one uh -huh. of your favorite uh -huh. foods. Okay. okay. Only you could settle this debate. Yes. <laughs> Would you eat it with... With fork. fork. Oh. Yes. Why is that? You got to get in there. Do I have to eat it with the no, fork? No, you don't have to eat anything. <laughs> no, with the giant blue fork. <laughs> I mean, it looks delicious. Let's just eat it. Is it good? Uh, it's delicious. Good. Is it warm? Let's hope oh my God, you it's warm. It's so good. Cheese. Is it good? It's warm. Okay, good. Good job, y'all. All right. All right. Wow. Okay. okay thank you for settling right. that debate. All right. Done. We've next been one. wondering. Okay. The next one is. Uh, oh. I know, but y'all, it's not just any birthday cake. It's ice, ice cream, cream cake. cake. Uh oh, okay. that's a, oh. that's a merging of two foods. Okay. I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't wait. 
Spam! Spam! Yes! Now, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> You know, my, that way you get all the ice cream. Oh right my God, this looks so good. Hold on, right after the mac and cheese. Now you're wishing you went with a fork. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, let, you know what? That blue spoon is not good for scooping. It's, this is not a red great. spoon. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, chocolate. Is that good? That's you really like it? Good. Okay. That way you get all the ice cream. Is that a frozen cherry on top? Uh -huh. No, that is so good. You're gonna want to eat that. Okay. We are. Can we save that for later? <laughs> yes, we can. All right, here's the next one, Reese. Only Reese could make this jam cute. Spoon or a fork. Peas. Oh. oh, this is interesting. Peas are very divisive. Food. It is. Do you like a pea? Oh, this is a no-brainer. I know exactly what to do. And do you yeah. like peas? I do like peas. Okay. How, how would you eat that? Yeah. With your spoon. I agree. I 100% agree. Like, what are you going to do? It's all going to I know. Have you ever seen anyone eat peas with a fork and knife? How they smash the pea on the back Ew, of the fork? What? No. what you mean, were what? you in the what? UK what? when you witnessed that? Yes. You in were the, the UK. UK. Yeah. They smash it on the back of the fork and eat it like okay. that. Fork and knife. What, huh? what are they, animals? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds terrible. That's very oh, strange. I'm, I'm not eating the peas. Very okay. strange. We're we don't blame you. We don't blame peas. you at all. All right, come on, Reese. Okay, Here's finally. Our last one. Oh, it's warm. I can tell by oh. the dough. Come on, girl. <laughs> I'm excited. Chili. Yeah, well, nothing like chili at 10 a.m., you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. chili. <laughs> Smells delicious. Okay, okay, what's it gonna be? I can't wait. Spoon! Spoon! Yeah, chili is a soup. Yeah. Chili is a soup. Yeah, I mean, there's. What right? is it gonna do? It's gonna like drip yes. off your fork. Right. Guys, chili is a only. soup. only. Reese, you, you have you. to come back and visit us, and we promise we won't make you play this game oh, again. Don't forget about our children's book. Oh my yes. Okay, we got it. We're Go. gonna collaborate. We okay. can't wait. It's happening. Of okay, but you guys, before that children's book comes out, Reese has a new one out. It's called Busy Betty and the Circus Surprise. Get it for your kids. It's adorable. It's, you can get it on today.com slash books or wherever you buy your books. The sweetest. Thank you, Reese. Thank we love so having you. Thank you, Reese. We love you. Thank you, Thank you, so we love right. you.